Fuss, 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 fuss. Gotcha. Gotcha now, hey? What are you gonna do now, huh? Hey? Hey? Look, watch this, Charlotte. Oh, cute. Uh. G'day viewers, well, a little transistor's arrived here for this uh, switch made charger. Um, I found that diode seemed to test zero volts both anode and cathode. That one here tested okay, so I've got a replacement one. Just going to replace that one here. Well, I'll place these first and get that fuse out because that's obviously blown. I'm trying to adapt this to fit the PCB. You're going to have to drill out some extra holes to uh, accommodate this new clip on one. This is a ceramic, I think it's a 4 amp fuse. I'm not, I have no idea what that one here is. There's no specs telling me what the um, amp rating in that one here is. This says F3.15. I'm guessing that's actually amps. 3.15 amp fuse. 250 volt AC. Yeah. I'm placing a 3.15 amp with a 4 amp fuse. It shouldn't be too uh, bad. Alright, let's get everything ready and commence repairing this uh, charger. I'm going to use my um, GW Pokery Ballast light bulb and series. Let to um, test any of this any for sure so that way nothing goes bang. That way it helps me with troubleshooting this, getting that uh, up and running again. Okay, if you want to replace those transistors, replace those two uh, diodes there. One, one did test okay, but I decided to change them both anyway. Let's get me a ballast set and a light bulb in series and give it a test. You can see this uh, ordinary fuse I tried to fit in, they're too big. Here's the original one. I decided to cut a bit of the plastic off. This thing blew so hard the glass shattered. Had a lot more than 3.15 amps going for it. And there's that fuse there I could try to adapt a bit. Size I just don't have. That's a 4 amp ceramic fuse there. Let's put those aside. Let's get the um, Jiggly Pokery ballast out and give it a very careful crank up on the Variac ballast just to check out the check if everything's okay. Okay, have you also got my setup ready? Ballast, light bulb, battery. Let's see if this produces any voltage when I turn it up on the Variac. These types of chargers need to have a battery hooked up to them, otherwise they just will not switch the output on. So I get this set of those so I can actually see it. I don't know if see those lights do anything. Variax on zero and everything's on, light bulb's on, power on. Start turning it up. Eighty volts going into that. Light bulb's turning on. There's 240 volts in there. Nothing's happening. Power off. Lights off. Lights on. Fans don't even look. I think we've got a bit of a short here. Alright. Power down. Power off. Oh, I keep troubleshooting this little thing. Be very careful. Now, I've had power to it. I might charge up those capacitors, so you'd be very careful when you're working on these sorts of circuits, especially 240 volt circuits. You get a nasty surprise otherwise. I'll unplug that. Let it dissipate for a little while and do some more checking. Okay, if you was I put a 600 watt vacuum cladder in series with it, cranked it up, and it was going at full power. It was still got a short somewhere. That's a bloody the hardest thing about repair and uh, switch mode power supplies. You've got to find the exact component where that short is. And there was a little bit of heat radiating. They're cool. I checked these diodes. One of these are okay. These are 1N5399. I don't actually have any of those. I've been raiding my circuit boards and checking. I don't actually have any replacements for those, so I'll give them another check out with a multimeter and see if they're okay. There they are. Electrify um, diodes there, there's four. See there and there's one there. Let's give those a test and see if they're doing anything. Okay, 
of here was I set this up, set a multimeter when I test each four of those diodes there on the other side of the board. All right, I'll put that there, multimeter there. All right, let's test the first diode. All right. 0.19 volts. Put one eight, I'll swap them around. Hmm. Seems to test okay that one. Next one. A bloody probe on there. Nothing. I'll swap the other way around. Okay, that one is nothing both ways. The non volts. Hmm, tests the same both ways. That one here tests the same both ways as well. They're not Xena diodes either, they're just ordinary diodes. Yeah, I'm off to um, keep investigating this circuit. As I said, I don't have any replacements for those diodes, so... Hmm, I'll put this aside for now and do some more testing and investigating in the meantime, so for now, thanks for watching.